I'm exploring bamboo's wood filament. I've had it for a couple months now and I just really haven't found a good use for it until today. I think I'm starting to get to a place where I know what to use it for. So let's clear some of this out of the way here so we can take our time. Let's start with this variation of a Vinci. I did make it bigger. Uh, this is 1.25 times the model scale. This is one someone had made a Viking ship out of. Now, if you see that, like I've got a nice wood texture going there. That's just fuzzy skin in a bamboo studio. And I'm really happy with the way it turns out with the fuzzy skin. Uh, it has a very nice kind of like rough aged wood appearance. This Benchy came out good, but as a Benchy, it's not really a good test since I changed the size and, you know, it does have different features and added the fuzzy skin, but I am extremely happy with the way that turned out. The one thing I'm not too thrilled about is the color options. Um, I wish there were a couple of more, but so far, you know, they're just getting this rolled out and pretty good. Like, I just love that. That wood texture because of the fuzzy skin is just, it's just great. So I started to fall in love with this coiled rope kind of deal uh, for Christmas. I did a coiled rope tree. You may have seen that in the Christmas video. And again, with the fuzzy skin, it just looks like natural rope. Obviously, this isn't really a, a good color for natural rope, but we could pretend it's nylon rope or something. And just this nice little dish. <clears throat> then along the same lines, I did this canister container but this time I did not do the fuzzy skin and as you can see it's kind of it looks more like a synthetic rope um, I still think this wood filament came out pretty good for it let me get this lid off here you know the filament itself prints very well everything's nice and clean um, in the fuzzy skin this might have looked a little bit better but this is more close or closer I suppose, to uh, more of a natural wood color. This color that the other one does, I'm just not, I don't know. This doesn't really say wood to me. What this says is artificial wood. This reminds me of, I will forget the artist's name, but used to make um, these German tree candles and the wood on the trees would always kind of be this color. I, I've not seen a whole lot of wood like this in my life that wasn't artificially stained. And I prefer natural wood colors. So this gets a little bit closer there. But yeah, let me line these registration marks up here and get this lid back on. There we go. Moving on to this guy. Um, I shrunk this model down, I believe 50%, maybe 25% just for speed. Now, I didn't do fuzzy skin on this. Um, I'm kind of wondering if it would have looked more realistic had I done that. But I think if you came in here with a wash, did like a black wash, and then it would kind of just randomly get in the striations of the wood and kind of, or the, the striations of the filament. Um, I've done that to a skull before and it just found natural little cracks and stuff. It, it made the skull look so much more real. I, I think that would help this a lot uh, to make it look like more like real wood. Um, I won't necessarily do it on the rope, but I'll do it on this probably just to see what it looks like. And I'll probably do that in a future video. Um, I had filmed where I had done that skull and I've just been waiting for other things to wash. Now this I'm definitely going to put a wash on if we focus. This looks so much like real wood. I took this model and turned on fuzzy skin for it. And it just looks like, you know, some kind of gnarly weathered wood because of that. If we'd focus, it wants to focus on this other one. Let me turn it around. There we go. Um, yeah, I'm just so happy with how this turned out. This even feels kind of like wood. Uh, it definitely feels like plastic, but it has more of like a wood texture with that fuzzy skin. And this model just came out beautifully. And again, I, I shrunk this one a little just for speed sake. I believe I reduced this 25%. And yeah, like this model is fun. I want to do this in bone filament. It's supposed to be, you know, like a snail skull thing, but I think this would look really cool in the bone filament. But again, it's like, look at that texture. Try to get it to focus a little bit better. There we go. 
oh, sorry guys, I shook you. Like, I think fuzzy skin is the way to go with this wood filament. That especially, it either looks like an elephant's knee or it looks like, you know, some gnarly old piece of wood that's been carved and, and sat and absorbed moisture and dried out and absorbed moisture and dried out and just kind of weathered over the years and I don't know. If you've been using this bamboo wood filament, let me know what you're using it for. Like, I just, I haven't found a good good use. Previously, I had printed Loki's mask from the movie The Mask with Jim Carrey. Um, I was gonna do a video then, and then I was like, mm, I'm just not happy with how these look. So I sent those with my wife to uh, some of the nephews over Christmas when she went to go visit, and yeah, I mean, they, they just kind of look like this. I, I wish I'd done fuzzy skin on them. I don't know if I have enough left to try them again. Uh, I may try this again. But yeah, but we'll see like over here, this is what I'm talking about. If you come in here with a black wash, I think this area is gonna look a whole lot more realistic. Um, any area that's, that's really smooth, kind of like in here, I just think would benefit from fuzzy skin. Like this looked pretty smooth. Obviously it had a lot of these cracks in the model, but I don't think this would have looked anywhere near as good had I not done that. Anyway, I'm rambling. Um, let me know what you're using the wood filament for from Bamboo, or if you've used any other wood filaments that you like, and I would love to know what you're creating. You can tag me in your creations on Instagram. It's just at Ryan Mercer, same as the channel name, and I'd love to see that stuff. I'll see you guys in the next video.